Welcome back to the channel. I am really glad you're here. This is a linchpin. If you have a tractor or if you've been around tractors, you've seen these, you've used them. They are a really handy piece of hardware. They're used mostly on your three-point hitch when you're attaching implements to your tractor. But today, I'm gonna to show you something that may work even better than a linchpin in certain applications. Welcome to my cluttered garage. You know I'm really glad you're here. Yeah. So the linchpin goes back hundreds and hundreds of years. The term linchpin comes from the mid 14th century, from Middle English term linspin, which literally means axle pin. So the way a linchpin works very simply is it goes through a hole in an axle and it keeps the wheel of the axle from falling off. Now it's been used for other things besides wheels, but it's to keep things on the axle. Now the pin has been improved through the years where this circular spring clip has been added and that keeps the linchpin from falling off the axle, which keeps the wheel from falling off the axle. Anyway, it's really a neat design and they're kind of almost like fidget spinners. They're kind of fun to play with. You can snap them on your finger and hurt sometimes. But I've had some problems with linchpins in the past where I've lost them because they just haven't held the way I need them to. So I'm gonna show you what I mean right now. Here's an example of a linchpin not being used on a three-point hitch, but rather being used on another part of an attachment. Now this is my finish mower that I use on the back of my tractor. And the linchpin is used to hold this wheel assembly in place. And this wheel is adjustable, so you can take the linchpin out, you can move these spacers by taking the entire wheel out, adjust the spacers from the upper level to the lower level, and that's how you adjust the height. And then the linchpin, holds everything in place. But I run into some problems a couple of times with this linchpin system. Now, I use this finish mower maybe a little more than just a finish mower, kind of more like a rotary mower. But I've used it in very, very tall grass, and a lot of times I back under growth. And when I back under the growth, what has happened to me more than once is while backing under this linchpin, gets hung up on a branch or something, the pin flips open, it falls out, and then the axle of the wheel falls out. I lose these shims, and it's cost me several, several dollars to replace these shims. More of a hassle than anything. So I've thought about putting a nut and bolt through here, which would work, but you need tools to remove those. And I've also tried putting zip ties around here to hold the linchpin in place. And that's kind of worked as well. But I found something in the old tractor supply bin the other day that I'm going to replace these with. And I'm really excited about it. So here it is. It's probably still categorized as a linchpin because it's used to hold things onto an axle. But what's really neat about this pin is that it cannot be pulled off very easily or not as easily as these type spring clips. Let me take this off and I'll show you. I'll pull this out, shift our focus to the focal point here. But here's the pin, and you have to open it like that, where you pull this spring off. And we can slide this through like so, and then put the pin on like so, and that should hold just great. And it really would take a lot to pull this off. So I like it, I'm excited. I bought four of them for like $3.50 a piece, which seems kind of high because you can buy these linchpins sometimes for like 25 cents on sale and uh, they're good to have. So pick up several because you may lose them. So these are more expensive, but I like the idea better than a nut and a bolt, better than anything else. And I think they're gonna work just great. I'm really happy with it. I'm excited to try this out. And there's your tip for the day. Hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>